is Trinity College, College Green, Dublin, and this is my the university I went to, the college I went to. I studied. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. You're very welcome to Dublin in Ireland. So today I'm going to be going into the city. This is Jemima, by the way. You might be really familiar with Dublin, or it might be a place that you really want to visit, in which case I say definitely go visit it. I'm going to be meeting my godmother and we're going to have lunch at the Ivy and then I'm going to do a bit of just wandering around into the shops and I'll have my boyfriend Fabian with me as well. Let's go. We're here at Grafton Street which is the epicentre really of Dublin and it's a pedestrianised street and you'll always find buskers here. There will be like people playing music and can be modern music, traditional music but there's always a buzz here. There's lots of people. And yeah, I'm going to shut up and just show you because it's a really nice place just to wander and there's really nice shops here. There's Brown Thomas, Ireland's Harrods, other like lovely, lovely shops like Beaulieu's just over here, Beaulieu's Tea. Let me show you. What's your view of Dublin and you don't need to keep me happy? You'll probably say it's cold for summer. It's very cold, yeah. For summer, for June. <laughs> for Anything June. else? No. <laughs> there you go. You do, see, you do see people in shorts, although we're wearing this and I'm not warm. No, I'm like borderline in this shirt, I'll be honest. Dublin with the lovely Molly Malone. Now we learned about her in school selling her cockles and mussels but there's a legend that if you touch her tits you've got amazing amazing look. Um, I think I'll probably leave her tits alone but a lot of people come here to rub her chest. Um, she is a beautiful lady and she is there selling her, her fish cockles and muckle, mussels. And it's a staple if you're visiting Ireland you should come and see Molly Malone. Here we have one of my favourite places, probably in the whole world, and I know that's a bit of a, seems like an exaggeration, but this is Trinity College, College Green Dublin, and this is my the university I went to, the college I went to, I studied law here, and I had lectures in this front building as well, on the right hand side, I had a number, I think I did EU law, and a few other bits and bobs, and this is one of the oldest universities in the world. Let's go and have a look at it. So this is the famous entrance. This wood is so old and back not long after I moved to London around 2015, a car came and drove straight through these and destroyed that beautiful wood and it was a huge, huge job and cost so much money to actually repair when the car drove straight through it. Um, and I was really upset at the time because like my beautiful university has just been ploughed in by a car, but it looks beautiful now and I'm relieved. So here we have, I mean Ireland is known for its scholars and its playwrights and here we have Goldsmith on this side and Edmund Burke is on the other side and when I, when I went to uni here we have Goldsmith Hall and we have the Ed Burke and they name different uh, lecture facilities and libraries and lecture halls after famous playwrights which is actually really inspiring when you're going here to, to know such amazing people have also tread this path so Enough of me yapping, let's just go straight in and have a look. So over here you have the church, the chapel, and on the right hand side you have the examination hall. And I've done exams in there, and I've also, our graduation ceremony is in there, and the famous thing is you get, you get your degree or whatever, and then you walk over this side and you get a picture taken on the steps in front of the chapel. My sister also got married in that chapel because, uh, right, if you go to University at Trinity, you get to get married here, which is really cool. You can't otherwise. Well, at least I think you can't otherwise. It's worth researching if you want to get married at Trinity College, but you can. So you see the way they have these paths? They, they built these for the Queen. So prior to this, they would not touch these cobbles, but then the Queen came along and she said, you know what, we're going to build this for the Queen to meander around. And it's much better and more accessible for students. 
over here we have the library and this is the old library and this houses the very famous Book of Kells which is an ancient manuscript that's been that's been uh, kept in just fantastic condition and you can go see it and you might have seen there's a lot of films that use the old library as well and it's stunning. I'm going to put some pictures up of it. It has really dark wood and these busts on either side and recently they've added the first female. This is the 24 hour library and so if you're absolutely screwed before an exam and you need 24 hours to study, that's where you go. I have a few friends who did that. Thankfully I never felt the need to do that while I was studying here. So over here we have the dining hall and if you are a Skull student, so in your second year you can do exams and then you get a scholarship, you then get to dine here every single day, you get your, you get your meal covered for and you get served on. I didn't do the exams because I live locally and you also get free on-site, on-campus accommodation so there's a few places that you can stay around here. I love this university, as you can tell. I went here for four years. I did law, which is a four-year degree. And down there to the left is the canteen, where you can get some lovely food. This is the historical part. Then on the other side, you've got the science block. Over there, you've got the arts block, which is really like seven, I call it 70 chic. I think we'll leave it at that, 70 chic. And then beyond that, they're doing some work of scaffolding up, but the law building is just on the other side of this. This is really a landmark of Trinity College and College Green. And it's said to, if you walk under it, it's bad luck. So I know it's really bad, but when I was doing my exams here, I just wouldn't walk under it because I didn't want them to go back. Now it, it's superstitious nonsense. Maybe, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Ireland is very into its ghosts and mythology and stories. I mean, All Hallows Eve, Halloween, originates in Ireland. And we do in Trinity, I don't know, there's been some viral videos of the acapella choirs and this is a prime spot to sing acapella. But this is a, so, such an old campus. Queen Elizabeth I built this university along with Oxford um, and to the point where the terms when I came here were uh, Nicholas, uh, Hillary and Trinity terms. But we've had some notable presidents come here, we've had uh, presidents of Ireland come here, we've had um, Barack Obama visit here, obviously Clinton who was so big with the peace process in Ireland visited here. There's some really nice hotels, the West Inn and the Westbury and the Shelburne, they're three top hotels in Dublin and if you can afford to stay in them, stay in them because they are beautiful. And it leads to the tea where we're going to go now. On the corner you can give blood, it's very important that we do shout out to people giving blood. So now we're really in the epicentre of Dublin city. This, these are the keys along here and we're on O'Connell Bridge and this separates north from south Dublin. And there's a bit of rivalry between north and south and people from north think the north is south and south and you can say vice versa as well. But I think we've come to you to love each other. So you'll see here, there's O'Connell Street. There's the statue over there. Now, that's a relatively recent addition. I mean, in the last 50, 30, 50 years. Previous to that, there was Nelson's Pillar, which was a, a monument, a big statue of Nelson on the top, but that was blown up during the Troubles in Ireland. A very tumultuous time in our past. We've got the spire, so it, locally referred to as the spike, and around the millennium it was built. I've never really loved it. There's not much for me to love about it, but some people really do Hello. love it. So make of it what you will. You've also got the Moore Street Markets, which are very like traditional markets where you can hear Dublin accent in full. And it's worth having a one. There's also a really big Primark, or as it's referred to here, Pennies up there, that's very, very popular. So I'm right here in front of the Liffey, and every year there's a Liffey swim. Honestly, I think you'd need a bazillion tetanus shots if you do the Liffey swim because it's a bit like the Thames in terms of it looks a little bit gross. But we love it, we're Irish. It, everything has been washed in the waters of the Liffey, as they say. Now you see on the over this side, you've got a little walkway. That's called Bachelor's Walk and that was... I remember when that was built. I think I was like, I think it was around 2000 time as well. Yeah, I grew up around here. This was, 
I was in here a lot of weekends with my mom. We did some shopping. Living in London, looking at the Liffey here, it doesn't look too filthy. It actually looks relatively okay because the Thames is brown. I'm not gonna lie. Here we have the beautiful Haypenny Bridge. It's called so because you used to have to give half a penny when it was a pound pounds and pence, a halfpenny to cross it. And yeah, it's a staple. And it leads to Temple Bar on the left. So here we are on the famous bridge. Famous called halfpenny because you have to pay half a penny to cross it back in the day because there weren't that many bridges going across. But it's a staple of Irish, the centre of Dublin. It also gives a really nice vantage point. You can see all this gorgeous architecture going along. And then if you look this way, you can also see some other big landmarks. So on the right hand side of the river, that's the four courts, which used to be the main criminal courts, and so but then they moved up near Phoenix Park. But when I was studying law, I had to go into criminal cases and I remember I had to go into a murder trial. If you're coming to Dublin, definitely do the Guinness Storehouse tour. It's really, really good. And at the end, you get given a free pint of Guinness and you have fantastic panoramic views of the city. And you might see the flags on either side, the pride flags. Dublin is really big in pride. Ireland was the first country to have gay marriage by way of referendum back in 2017. And that was a big moment for Irish culture. And I'm really proud of that. And I'm really proud that Ireland brought it through.
kind of divided into two and they've got sort of like a rocky area and then a more conventional area. But yeah, if you come to Grafton Street in Dublin, you will get where you want to go because it kind of links a lot of places together. So if you're in Ireland and you want to get a real Irish experience, you can get more authentic than Riverdance, which is on every summer basically in the Gaiety, which is a beautiful theatre in Ireland, in this Dublin. But yeah, Riverdance is amazing. I've had so many birthdays because I have a summer birthday where I've gone to see Riverdance and it never disappoints. It's just, you always feel amazing after it. So highly, highly recommend. Thank you. 